Hey guys, just arrived in Rotenburg. The name Rotenburg op der Taube is German for Red Castle above the Taube, which is the river here. The place is pretty cool. It's apparently one of the only three towns in Germany that still has completely intact city walls. So if you come here, make sure you stay in the city center, which is the medieval old town and where we're staying right now. And then check out all these old buildings here, which is pretty awesome. I love it. I like the colors. And we are headed to the marketplace, I guess the city center. And the city center here, this marketplace, is a great place to grab some food and drink. Lots of tables outside. And over here is the city hall. This is known as the Rathaus in German. And there's a clock tower now that's dinging. And this is called the Rats Trinkstube, or Counselor's Tavern. So some guy is supposed to come out of those windows right there. You can not really see it, but he's got a tankard of wine, and there's some backstory on that. Not sure what it is, but apparently he drank three and a half liters of wine or something like that and saved the city. Here is the White Tower, which I read was built in the 1100s. And you got tons of these stores everywhere. Like, look at this. Look at this stein here. It's amazing. Look at that big stein in the middle. It's totally crazy. Here we have a Christmas, German Christmas Museum. Now, it's closed at the moment, and you know it's closed because this guy over here, he's guarding it. He looks pretty tough. Now we're headed to the Marcus Tower, which another is another one of the really old towers here. So just like the White Tower, this one was built a long time ago, I think uh, about 1200. And so this one's pretty famous. It also is on the old city wall and is pretty much intact. So you have the Marcus Tower and underneath is this uh, rotor arc or rotor arch. I'm not sure, is it arc or arch? I have no idea. Anyways, that's pretty cool, I like it. Let's head off the beaten path. This is kind of scary or maybe at night, I don't know. These very narrow streets and cobblestones. There's a lot more of these old buildings which I find really fascinating. Look at this barbershop here with the timber frame. This is the start of a hiking trail. Quite a few points of interest. There's some wineries down there, some old buildings. We will not be doing that today, but for future reference, you would go down these stairs and it goes all the way down into the valley. Oops, here you can see some old walls, buildings in the distance. And here's the valley. Pretty cool old bridge there. It looks like an aqueduct. And then it goes all the way around this valley here. And you can see the old walls. And then down here is a winery. Today we're headed to the most famous picture spot in Rotenburg that you see all over the place. So if you search for Rotenburg on the internet, you're going to find this. This is a Plünlein, which apparently translated as a small square at a fountain. So there's a fountain in front of the house right here that you see in the middle, and then there's two towers. You have the Seabass Turm. My German is terrible, so I'll, I'll, I'll just write it on the screen. And on the right is the Koboldzella Tower from the 1300s. And the one on the right will uh, actually get you down to the Tauba Valley. Here we are, 104. Check this out. Check this out. Sorry for the mess. Sorry for the mess. We were partying. But check out this room. Hello. Hey, look at this princess bed over here with the curtains. Got a nice wardrobe here. Here's the other room. This is the main bedroom. I have to show you before it gets messed up. Here's the view. We're looking right onto this old cobblestone road. It's raining right now. And then we have people, I don't want them to know I'm filming them, but there's a little restaurant, outdoor restaurant there. So you could sleep at least four people here. And here's the best part. There's a crib. So if you have a baby, there's an old fashioned rocking crib. And we have a baby in there right now, eating licorice and reading a magazine. And it rocks back and forth. And the bathroom, it's pretty spacious. And then you 
could open this in case it gets stinky. And you have trees and fresh air. That's it. So we found this really cool bar in Goldenborg, Wolf Dead Talbot. And we were just walking around, we found this really cool spot. And uh, good beer uh, from, tap, from the tap. And I don't even know what I was going to say because I think I had a few too many. But it's a pretty cool place. It's kind of like a little hole in the wall, but it's got like a really cool uh, vibe to it. Like a chill, uh, you know, hang out late at night, chill, quiet, loungy vibe, but it's a bar. And uh, if you ever come out here, check it out. I think it's a good place. You'll like it. I like it. I'm already a few beers in, and I'm not finishing it now. What do we got here? These are, it says Schneeball, and those are snowballs. These are pretty famous here. I haven't seen these anywhere else. And you have like white chocolate, you have milk chocolate, dark chocolate, maybe cinnamon or something. And uh, it's dough that's wrapped up in a ball with different flavors. So we're gonna try one of those in a little bit. You can get the big ones. And then here are the little ones, the little bag for 550. Looks pretty good. And uh, we'll check it out. This is our hotel at night. Hotel Reichskuchenmeister. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right, so, <laughs> okay, so we're in Goldenburg, both that Talbot. And on the way home tonight, we found a bakery that was still open late at night, about 9 p.m. And we got these world famous, or Goldenburg famous snowballs, Schneeballen. And we picked up a few of the small ones. They have bigger ones, but we wanted to get a variety. And there's a little beeping going on in the background. That's my mom. You can ignore her. This is what we picked up this time. There's a lot more flavors. So we got a milk chocolate. I think this one's a white chocolate. And this one's a powder. Powder sugar or something like that. So it's like a dough and then inside and infused there's uh, different flavors and stuff like that. So let's dig in. I'm going to try a little bit. See what we can do here. These are... Whoa, I think I just had to bite them. Should I bite these? Oh, there we go. That was terrible. Okay, don't do that. But... Interesting. It's kind of like a like a hard dough cookie. Uh, mm, it's good. It does taste definitely. It tastes like a like a carnival food. Definitely like a carnival food. All right, that's the white chocolate. I like it. Not too sweet. Pretty good. Now we're going to go into the powder one. You see the powder going everywhere? The maid's going to hate us for this one. So let me try to see if I can, what I can do here. I have to save some for the family. All right, we'll get this piece here. I like that one a little bit better. It's like a powdered sugar pancake. Like a, you think like a hard pancake with powdered sugar over it? Again, like a, like those, um, what you get at the carnival, you know, in the U.S. Um, I forgot what they're called. I can't even think about it. Maybe I'll write it later. But that's exactly what it tastes like. All right, last one's the milk chocolate. They had a dark chocolate one that I'm not a big fan. So we'll try, try the milk chocolate. What are those things called in there? That's good too. I like that better than the white chocolate. Actually, I do like this one. This one in the white powder. Yummy. Look at that. Hey, mom. Mom. Mother. Mom. She doesn't have her, her hearing aid in, so she can't hear me. I was going to ask her about the festivals, what they're called. With the bad sugar. Maybe my brother could tell me, but he's kind of... Uh, Trying to keep quiet, <laughs> so he wants me to look stupid. He's laughing his ass off. Good. Powdered sugar, good. Good, good, good. That like cookie monster. Cookie, cookie, cookie. That's enough. Alright, I am uh, gonna enjoy these in peace. I'll see you guys later. Oh, ho. This is the.
pulled that to him. Powder. Powder tower. Alright, let's go up this bad boy. If you listen carefully, you can hear my knee crunching. These are the arrow slots here. You can shoot against the bad guys. Now we're going into the dark corridor. Ooh, it stinks in here. Ooh, smells like cow shit. I don't know who brought cows in here. Look at all these things. They're from Japan. These people are from Florida. I guess you can donate money to help rebuild or restore this maybe it's kind of cool oh no here's all the i guess tile roof and the big towers Can we go up these stairs? Um, no. I don't think so. No. I don't even know if these are stairs. They look like stairs. I think they're oh yeah, to get to the top of the wall, to the parapets. There's a lot of Japanese companies and uh, Japanese living here. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, we gotta get around this little corner. I don't know if my belly will make it. From all that German beer. Oh, oh. oh. Holy shit. Good thing you didn't see that. Okay, down is easier than up. Although the stairs are super narrow. So somebody needs to catch me, but there's nobody around. So this is one place where the wall starts. And then here's uh, the first tower. Some of these you can go into, some you can't. Uh, this wall pretty much goes around almost the whole city, so it, it encloses the old city where you want to stay. And you could probably spend about an hour or so walking along the wall, maybe two hours getting into the towers and stuff like that and getting nice views of the city. What's cool is all the street names are still written in this old script, this old writing style. And a lot of the uh, stores also are written like that. This is Jakobskirche, which translates to St. James Church. This is the main church in the middle of the city. We didn't go inside, but if you're in the churches, definitely check it out when you're here. When you come to Voltenburg, you have to go to this store here. It looks like a little nondescript store. It's basically a Christmas store. It says Weinlachs Dorf. It's like a Christmas village. It's absolutely huge. It's four stories, and they've taken over the building next to it. Top floor is a museum. It costs money to get into, but everything else is free, and it has basically every single Christmas decoration that you can imagine. Very high quality stuff. Some of it's expensive, but it's just amazing to, to see what they have. It's tens of thousands of items, just anything that you can imagine they have for Christmas, they have for sale here year-round. It's like a museum in itself. You cannot take pictures inside, but pretty cool. I think you should check it out. Here's just a little selection of, of items that they have for sale. It's really, really cool little stuff here. Cute little things. We decided to sit down for cake and coffee which is a German thing. Well, I'm sure a lot of Europeans do it, but in the afternoon, we like to get cake and coffee. This is the first time we're doing it on a trip, but glad we did. I got the apple strudel and coffee, and he got cheesecake, yummy, and hot chocolate, and my mother got cheese, cheese what? Zahnekuchen. Zahnekuchen. Okay, it's a zahne. I don't think this is the right one. Cheese, cheese, what cream 
cheese cream cake. Anyways, hopefully it's good. Yummy. We're headed home now. Uh, going back to pack up and gotta catch the train to the next city. So we'll see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed your time with us in Rotenburg. And check it out next time you're in Germany. It's an amazing place to be. And you will absolutely love it here. It's enjoyable. It's nice. And my brother had serious issues. You didn't film that. You didn't do that. You didn't do that. You just wanted me to... <laughs> you just wanted me to say what you said. I know you're recording, but you didn't record yourself. Or you didn't see on camera. All right, it's our second to last night, and I've had enough of my brother, and I can't wait to get home. Done. See you.